We're now ready to start on the main activity of this course, which is building an interpreters. That is, a program that takes a representation of another program and returns that program's value. Throughout this process in this course, we're going to be working with two languages. There's Splate, that's the language that we use to write our interpreters, and the language that we interpret, the language that we make up as we go this semester, is called Mo. So we'll keep changing this language as we study new features of programming languages, but we'll just keep calling it Mo all the way through. We'll start out with a simple version of Mo, where we just have arithmetic using plus. So 2 plus 1 is going to be a Mo program that produces 3, of course. And 2 times 1 will be a Mo program that produces 2. So we'll have plus, times, and numbers. We can put them together in larger expressions, so 2 plus 4 times 3 is going to be a Mo program, and of course we multiply 4 times 3 first to get 12, so we get 14 overall in that program. Also, just a, a number by itself should be a Mo program. Even though there's nothing much to do here, the, the value of 2 is just 2, uh, it makes things general and consistent uh, to also allow numbers to be programs. So our problem is to build an interpreter for Mo expressions, let's do the first step of the design recipe, which is to pick a representation of this. Um, looking at our problem, we have three different kinds of expressions. We have just numbers by themselves, we have addition expressions, and we have multiplication expressions, and they can be nested. So a plus has a left-hand expression, and it also has a right-hand expression, which doesn't just have to be a number, but can be another expression. So those three cases we can turn into a split data definition. Uh, so we have a type declaration for exp, that's short for expression, and I have three variants, numbers or integers, uh, plus expressions and multiplication expressions, where plus expressions have two different expressions inside of them, as do multiplication expressions, and integers just have uh, a number inside of them. I'm putting e on the end of each of my variant names just to remind myself that the three, these three different variants, they're all instances of the exp type. Let's go over to Dr. Racket and implement this. We're going to have a type of expressions with an int case and a plus case and a multiply case. In the integer case, we just have a split integer. In plus, we have a left expression and a right expression. And in multiply, we have a left expression and a right expression. So for example, if we want to represent the mo expression 3, then as a split value, we would write that as int e3. Okay. So when I run this, I uh, get int e3. It just gives me an int e3. That is a split value that represents the mo program 3. How about the mo program 1 plus 3? That would be a plus expression. And I can't just put 1 and 3 here. Um, if I do that, I get an error about expressions versus integers, right? Because uh, plus e wants an expression for its left. And if I want to represent 1, that's an int e1. And similarly, 3 is an int e3. So that is my split representation of the mo expression, 1 plus 3. And then we can try a multiplication expression. So that would be mult e of int e2 and e4, of course. And let's do one more, which is just a compound one. Um, 1 plus 2 times 4. What would that look like? That would be a plus e of a int e1 and a mult e of an int e2 and an int e4. So that completes the representation step of our design recipe for an interpreter. We now have a way of representing expressions, Mo expressions, so we're going to write an interp program that takes these representations and produces the value of that program.